Hi guys, happy Sunday. It's nice to be with you guys again. I hope you all are doing well this week. Um, today, on the day I'm recording this, it's actually a really rainy day outside. So I thought we would do a fun indoor activity today. I'm excited to do it, but um, before we get to it, will you guys open up in prayer with me? Dearest God, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for the rain coming down and making all of the plants outside big and strong. God, thank you so much for all the love you give us. Thank you for our families and friends and every single blessing in life. God, I pray for this to be a wonderful morning. I pray all this in your name. Amen. All right, guys. Well, Today, it's gonna be a really, really chill day. Since it's raining outside, I thought we would do something inside that's kind of like nice and cozy. So you don't have to get much for this activity. Um, all you have to do is maybe put on some cozy clothes, grab a little blanket or something like that, and maybe grab like a warm beverage. I got my tea here, I'm all ready to go. And um, I just want you guys to be cozy because today is story time. That's right, you guys get to sit back and relax while I read you a fun story. So I'm really excited for the story that I'm gonna read to you guys today because it comes from a book that um, has a lot of sentimental value to me. That means that it reminds me of something that I did in my childhood. Whenever I would go over to my grandma's house, she actually had this series of books, this exact same series of books on her bookshelf. And we would always read them together. And I just love looking at the pictures and reading the stories with her. So this book means a lot to me and I'm really excited to share it with you guys today. So the book that we're gonna be reading in honor of the rain outside is the story of Noah. Now, Noah was a guy in the Old Testament who was really, really faithful to God. He listened to what God had to say to him, and because of that, he ended up um, going through something really kind of crazy and miraculous. Um, and I'm gonna read that to you guys today. So this is called Noah's Big Boat. Let's get into it, shall we? Noah was God's friend. Noah made God happy. Noah tried to do just what God told him. There's Noah. Now Noah had three boys. Their names were Shem and Ham and Japheth. Interesting names. God said, Noah, make a big houseboat. Water is coming. Water will cover up everything. You will be safe on the boat. And Noah did what God told him. So you guys see the boat in process? Nice. God said, make rooms in the boat. Noah made rooms. God said, make a window in the boat. Noah made a window. God said, make a door in the boat. And Noah made a door. God said, put something to eat on the boat. Noah did what God told him. God said, put animals on the boat. Noah did what God told him. Into the house boat went. Oh, look at all those animals. Mr. and Mrs. Cat. Mr. and Mrs. Horse. Mr. and Mrs. Dog. Mr. and Mrs. Grasshopper. Mr. and Mrs. Woolly Worm. Mr. and Mrs. Duck, and more animals too. Then God said, Now you and your family get on the boat. So Mr. and Mrs. Noah got on the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Shem got on the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Ham got on the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Jepheth got on the boat. And then, <gasps> God shut the door. After a while, came down came the rain. Drip, drip, drip. After a while, up came the water. Splash, splash, splash. Oh, look at that. It looks like kind of what it looks like outside right now with all the rain. Soon, it's gonna 
happen? Water ran over the streets. Water ran over the houses. Water ran over the little hills. Water ran over the big hills. Everything's getting soaked. Now the houseboat was floating, but Noah was safe inside. His family was safe inside. The animals were safe inside. Noah's family had something to eat. They gave the animals something to eat. Then they waited. They waited till the water went away. They waited till God said, it's time to get off the boat. You guys see Noah out on the boat and all the water. Noah did what God told him. Mr. and Mrs. Noah got off the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Shem got off the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Ham got off the boat. Mr. and Mrs. Jepheth got off the boat. All the animals got off the boat. They walked and ran and crawled and hopped. God said, all those animals. <laughs> Don't worry, the water won't come back. The water won't cover up the world anymore, and it never has. And God made a rainbow. Look how beautiful that is. What did you learn? Noah did just go what God said. God took care of Noah. God takes care of all the mommies and daddies and boys and girls who do what he says. You too. Now, I wanted to share that story, number one, because it's all rainy and gloomy outside, but I also wanted to share that story because it's a reminder that even if the storm comes, that God keeps his promises. So just like right now in the world, there's kind of a little bit of a storm. The storm is called the coronavirus. Um, it's taken over a lot of people's lives and you know, it's changed up how we do things during our normal day. And it's different than what any of us are used to. But this story tells us that God keeps his promises. God listens to our prayers and he hears us. He's here with us even when the storm is going on and we feel like we don't know what to do. But he promises that after everything is over, there will only be good things left. That after the coronavirus ends, we'll be able to gather together again. We'll be able to see each other's beautiful faces in person. And we'll be able to celebrate that God was with us throughout that entire time. And it's gonna be really amazing and it's gonna be really beautiful. So I hope this was encouraging to you guys today. Um, I liked reading this story to you. It definitely means a lot to me. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful Sunday. Um, please just remember that uh, no matter what the weather is like outside, to take a moment or two for a quiet moment, maybe with some tea, maybe with some hot cocoa, maybe just in the lap of a mom or a dad or by your siblings. and. Just remember that God is nearby and he's taking care of you and your family and he's gonna bring good things into this world for all of us. Um, before we go, will you guys join me in prayer? Dearest God, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for loving us the way that you do. God, you are magnificent and you make good things come out of the bad. Lord, I pray that you help us all to look forward to when this is over and um, the world just opens up and we get to celebrate with each other, just like Noah and his family celebrated under that rainbow. God, thank you for keeping your promises. Thank you for all your love and we love you too. Amen. All right, guys, have a wonderful Sunday. I will see you next week. I love you all. I miss you all. Bye-bye.